morning. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's the, uh, what's today? The 21st? Knowledge, wisdom? Yeah, I think it's the 21st. So look. Now, we're going to see if the, uh, the uh, Semitism community, the Jewish community, or the uh, Anti-Defamation League is going to have an issue with Kathy Lee Gifford. Kathy Lee Gifford wrote a book called uh, God's Way or um, whatever it is. You see it right here. Okay. Now, and I'm, I've been looking at some of the transcripts of the book, and it seems like I'm reading the book Hebrews the Negroes. And it seems like she's confirming any and everything that Kanye West is saying. That's what it sounds like. So is she anti-Semitic? Well, she's a white woman, so you know how they... Uh, they don't put up too much smoke with the white woman, but it looks like the white woman has the opportunity to tell the truth. And she is also playing a major role in the liberation of the black American. Cause she said, Jesus, Jesus wasn't born in December. He was born around that time. So if Jesus was born around that time, uh, you gotta think like, okay. He said, well, basically that Jesus was conceived around that time. So she talking about the holiday seasons is in, uh, you know, around late November, early December. So Jesus was conceived somewhere around November and December. So let's just go ahead and just say uh, that the emancipation happened on the day somewhere around the 20s, the 20th part of November. And then if you look at reality right now and if you count those months, so if Mary got pregnant, in November ish you got November December January February March April May June July that ninth month this August so I'm sitting back and saying wow Kathy Lee Gifford just basically gave us a major piece of the puzzle because Jesus birthday is somewhere around the birthday of black America and that's August 20th in the year dates back to the year 1619 and to those who don't understand we have no association absolutely zero association with the uh, 1619 project okay we understand you know it's political but we're actually going with the date that these united states decided to document the first transatlantic slaves and it was actually about 20 brothers and what the story is starting to reveal itself is that the the portuguese slave traders was on their way back uh, to spain and got hijacked and you brought 20 educated brothers who spoke English and Portuguese who were navigators and scholars this is why you had to document them because they wasn't slaves and now 400 plus years later we having a conversation because the biblical prophecy is starting to come out and Kathy Lee book uh, basically uh, opened Pandora's box and if she if the uh, Jewish community says that Kanye West and and Kyrie Irving is uh, anti-Semitic and Kyrie is anti-Semitic because he put a link on his page, Hebrews the Negro. Kanye West talks about God, talks about Jesus being a Jew. And then Kathy Lee Gifford came out with a book on August 30th. And she was on Fox News today talking about her book, confirming any and everything. And this is why white lives matter is an issue with Jewish people like Rich Eisen. Now, Rich Eisen said that Hebrews, the Negroes, and the story and the gospel of Jesus Christ dehumanizes him. I don't know why, because the issues are still a part of humanity. Let's go with the races. You got the black race, the Negroes. You got the white race, the Caucas the Caucasoids, the Caucasians. And you got the, the Asians, the Mongolians, and everybody's had that.